All right, a rock is fired straight up from the ground. It returns to ground 10 seconds later. What was the launch speed? Uh, here's an application of our previous problem. We know that it goes up and then it comes back down. At zero seconds, it was launched. Sometime later, at 10 seconds, it came back to the ground. So how much time was required to get to that point? Oh, that's right, five seconds. Why does it go up and down? It's being accelerated always at a constant rate of j, which is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. And the question is, what is its launch speed? Uh, so it's launched upward like that with some initial speed. Its final speed at the top, if it's changing direction at that point, it must, its velocity must be zero meters per second. It's run out of gas. So the question is, what is the launch speed? We know V equals V naught plus AT. Solving for this quickly using algebra V minus AT equals V naught. So V naught is V minus AT, just switching this around to be consistent. So V naught will be equal to the launch speed or the final speed at the top, which happens to be zero meters per second minus negative 9.8 meters per second squared times the time that it takes to run out of gas, which is five seconds. 10 times five is roughly 50, but if we're gonna be more precise, 49 meters per second, positive 49 meters per second because it's going upward at that time.